Quotes from, Thomas Watson. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First quote. Grace makes an admirable change. To be changed from sin to holiness, is as if iron were changed into gold, or dust changed into diamonds. Now, the soul is all glorious within. Oh, labor for this gracious change. Second quote. True faith will trust God's heart, where it cannot trace his hand. Third quote. Another sin which has brought us low, and is likely to bring us yet lower, is immorality. The unchaste heart is a volcano, burning with lust. Immorality is the shipwreck of chastity, and the murder of conscience. It was said of Rome of old that it had become a brothel. I wish it might not be imitated of many parts of this land. Fourth quote. Sin brings a man low, in God's esteem. The sinner sets a high price upon himself, Proverbs 26 16. But God has low thoughts of him. And looks upon him with a despicable eye. Daniel 11 21. Fifth quote. Grace is as needful for the soul, as oil is for the lamp, and as breath for the body. John 3 7, you must be born again. He who is born but once, shall die twice. Sixth quote. A heart full of love to God, is precious. It is God's delight. Isaiah 62 4. It is the apple of his eye, it is his jewel. It is his garden of spices. It is his lesser heaven where he dwells. Isaiah 57 17, I dwell with him that is of a humble spirit. 7th quote. To render evil for evil, is brutish, to render evil for good, is devilish, to render good for evil, is Christian. 8th quote. Why do people content themselves with a show of godliness? This helps to keep up their fame. Men are ambitious of credit, and wish to gain repute in the world. Therefore they will dress themselves in the garb and mode of religion, so that others may write them down for saints. But alas, what is one the better for having others commend him, and his conscience condemn him? What good will it do a man when he is in hell, that others think he has gone to heaven? Oh, beware of this! Counterfeit piety is double iniquity. Ninth quote. Affliction is a bitter root, but it bears sweet fruit. Tenth quote. That you may see how low a sinner is fallen in God's account, the Lord compares him to dross, Psalm 119 verse 119. To chaff, Psalm 14. To a pot boiling with scum, Ezekiel 24 6. To a dog, 2 Peter 2 22, which under the law was unclean. To a serpent, Matthew 23 33, which is a cursed creature. Nay, he is worse than a serpent, for the poison of a serpent is what God has put into it, but a wicked man has that which the devil has put into him. Acts 5 3, Why has Satan filled your heart? A sinner has a high opinion of himself. But if he knew how loathsome and disfigured he was in God's eye, he would abhor himself in the dust. 11th quote. Fiery trials make golden Christians. 12th quote. To have only a show of godliness is a God enraging sin. The man who is a pretender to saintship, but whose heart tells him he is nothing but the name, carries Christ in his Bible, but not in his heart. Some political design spurs him on in the ways of God. He makes religion a lackey to his carnal interest. What is this but to abuse God to his face, and to serve the devil in Christ's livery? Hypocrisy makes the fury rise up in God's face. Therefore he calls such people the generation of his wrath, Isaiah 10 6. God will send them to hell, to do penance for their hypocrisy. 13th quote. God's afflicting rod is a pencil to draw Christ's image, more distinctly upon us. 14th quote. Affliction is God's flail to thresh off the husks, not to consume the precious grain. Thanks.